Hello everyone, welcome to today's class and in this class we are going to understand Thanatology and from this class we are starting series of lectures in Forensic Medicine. Forensic Forensic Medicine. So we are starting with Thanatology. We will understand and we will learn introduction of thanatology, tripod of life, and organ transplantation, which is related to thanatology. Okay, so let's understand this terminology, thanatology. So whenever we have, whenever we have L O G Y in any word, it means scientific study. Scientific study of something and what something thanatos so this word is thanatos which means death so you can say thanatology is a scientific scientific study of death and things associated associated with it okay so that is the basic definition of thanatology and when we see the origin so it have greek origin it have greek origin greek origin so the term thanatos has greek origin and logy is again scientific study okay so this is basically the scientific study of death and other things which is associated with the death okay so let's understand the basic basic concept of thanatology and important things related to it so here we can see that thanatology deals with death yes of course and it's all aspects so thanatology it is a scientific study of death and it deals with death and all aspects related to it so there is a progression from clinical death to brain death biological death and then cellular death so we have different steps of death okay so clinical death brain death then we have biological death and then clinical sorry cellular death okay so this is the progression of death then we have brain death which follows immediately after clinical death. So brain death comes after clinical death. Okay. So it happens because of lack of oxygen. So first of all, cerebral cortex get affected and then cerebellum and then lower parts of brain or lower centers of brain dies. So in the absence of oxygen, cerebral cortex get affected then cerebellum in the lower centers so let's see where cerebral cortex is cerebellum is so here we have cerebral cortex so this is the first area in which we see the effect of less of oxygen so first is this center which dies and then cerebellum and then lower centers of brain dies okay so this is the step by step death progression in brain in the absence of oxygen or due to lack of oxygen and ultimately ultimately brain stem dies and vital centers die as well so we can say that it is a process of cellular death and after that process of cellular death begins right and when we talk about death in context of law so we have section 46 we have section 46 of indian penal code we have section 46 of indian penal code and in which death denotes that a human being is unless it says that a person is dead a human being is dead unless the contrary appears from this context for example we have person a and we want to understand this person A is dead. So when we will approve this, when there is no contrary appears to this context. Okay, if someone, let's say, we have X, Y, Z person. This X, Y, Z person comes and they, uh, and this person says that I am A. Then this is the contrary. So we cannot just say that A is dead or not. 
right we have to be investigate and then after investigation we have to understand this a and x y z portion are same or not okay so that says section 46 in the penal code and again we have one more act associated with this this is registration of birth and death act section 2b defines death as a permanent disappearance of all evidence of life at any point of time after life birth. So we have to understand there is a life birth and after life birth at any point of time there is disappearance of all evidences of life and then we call the situation death. Okay, so you guys know that if someone is getting uh, life or if there is a life birth, there is a birth certificate. If someone is died, okay so we have this certificate and all these birth and death certificates is handled by this act only and in this section 2b defines death which says all the permanent disappearance of evidences which is associated with life is disappeared okay so all the evidences related to life is disappeared after a life birth so that is death and there is no clear definition to death in our legal system then we have types of death so we have two types of death when we have somatic systemic or clinical these types, these three names denote only one situation that is somatic systemic or clinical and the other type we have is molecular and cellular molecular and cellular death. okay so first we will understand what is somatic death okay so somatic death is complete and irreversible stoppage of circulation respiration and brain function and these three things are also called as tripod of life or bishop's tripod of life but there is no legal definition to death so here we have three important elements to death first one is circulation which is related with heart the other one is respiration which is related to lungs and the other one is a brain function which is related to brain and this is also known as tripod of life if we see complete or irreversible stoppage of anything any one part of life if we see complete or irreversible stoppage in either circulation respiration and brain function we call it somatic death and here it is really very important if death happened or not because it is important in resuscitation if someone is not dead we can resuscitate them with different means and for organ transplantation it is important to understand the time of death and the uh, like elements of death because we want to transplant some organ if we want to transplant some organ okay as long as circulation of oxygenated blood is maintained to the brain stem life is life exists so whenever so if oxygenated blood is there in the brain stem we can sustain life life will exist okay if there is no oxygen no oxygen in brain stem it means the life is not going to exist whether the person is alive or dead we can only be trusted by withdrawal of artificial maintenance so we can uh, give an example of artificial maintenance that is ventilator okay so that is the artificial means of so ventilator is artificial maintenance if we remove the artificial maintenance if we if we remove the ventilator then if there is no life that means that person is dead now organ transplantation the success of homograft homograft is nothing but organ transplantation it depends only upon the type of tissues which is involved and rapidity of its removal after circulation has stopped in the donor so we need to remove all the organs as soon as possible as soon as after the circulation has stopped okay the cornea can be removed from the dead body within six hours of death skin in 24 hours bone in 48 hours blood vessels within 72 hours for transplantation kidney heart and lungs pancreas and liver must be obtained soon after circulation had stopped as they deteriorate rapidly so as soon as we get the information of death we need to obtain kidney 
heart, lung, pancreas, liver, etc. The body does not reject the transplanted cornea. It does not reject the transplanted cornea and the donor can be a newborn baby or 70 years old person. Most bone transplant lasts the life of the individual. So bone transplant lasts to the life. Okay, so this is about organ transplant. So that's it everyone for this class. I uh, hope this lecture is helpful to you. If this is helpful, you can click the like button. You can share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed our YouTube channel, subscribe our channel and see you guys in the next class. Topic. Till then, take care. Bye.